Well, 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 well. Look who got themselves a cameraman. Everybody, I'd like to introduce my new cameraman. We've used the budget since firing uh, the sous chef, Peach, who's eating off the floor over there. His name is Ronan SC, and um, that's a gimbal. So now I have my own personal cameraman who can follow me throughout the kitchen. And even if they don't want to film the abomination that I'm creating, they have to, because they're a robot, and I told them what to do. Welcome back to the kitchen, everybody. Today, we are gonna do equal parts cooking and eating. Now, there are a couple of reasons for that. Number one, I'm starving. I haven't eaten for like six hours. And I was like, I'll cook din dinner later, not thinking I was also gonna have to film a video later. So now we're just gonna do both. Just wanted to check that the camera was recording. Turns out the camera's recording, everything's good. So something that I've wanted to try for a really long time is those really, really spicy ramen, like the red ramen noodles that people eat as a challenge. And I know that's sort of been like a, a really popular trend going around for a long time now. Um, it's like the, the spicy noodle trend. So I was like, I wanna know what those noodles are. Cause I love noodles, I love Asian food and I love spicy food. I need to figure out what this is. For knowing full well that I could never eat it as is, right? I can't go buy the package and eat it. So I did some thinking. I decided I was gonna make that from scratch. I'm not gonna make the noodles, I have noodles. These ones, you remember these from the burger video that I made a bun out of ramen. So I'm going to make from scratch this dish. Most importantly is the hot Korean noodle sauce, which is also known as Samyang Bulldog, which is made up primarily of Korean hot things like this, which is Korean hot pepper powder and this, called gochujang, which is basically hot pepper paste. Both of these I can eat. When I say it's gonna be an easy recipe, it might be easy to cook, but I don't think it'll be easy to eat because I intend on eating a whole bowl of these noodles and I wanna do it on camera. I don't care. Today's gonna be Aries Kitchen plus mukbang, okay? We're gonna have both because I wanna be a part of cool things on the internet too. I wanna eat the red spicy noodles that look so cool and wild. So we're gonna start by cooking the ramen noodles. We're just gonna crank this puppy all the way up and we're gonna put the ramen in there. That's gonna be the easiest part. But then you're gonna need some ingredients for the sauce. I'm so excited to make this sauce. I love coming up with really spicy, primarily Asian style sauces to try on different things. Cause I feel like if I like this sauce, I'm gonna use it on a number of different things. For this sauce, you will need a baby whisk. And if anyone makes fun of you for it, tell them they need to get out of your life or they need to accept your little whisk. And if they just run out the door right then and there, you just whisk them out. This is literally just made of Korean hot pepper and this is just a paste version of that. So I think this is not only gonna make it delicious and spicy, but I think it's also gonna give it that really bright, vibrant red color. Are you boiling? It was like 100 degrees today, so naturally I wanna make spicy noodles that are just gonna make me sweat even more. In addition to wanting to cook like spicy noodles, I honestly wanted to make this recipe on camera because I feel like there's a lot of people who probably wanted to try those really cool, trendy looking noodles, but can't for whatever reason. So this is my attempt at making them accessible for everybody because everybody should be able to stuff their face with fire noodles if they want, whether or not you're filming it for your YouTube channel, okay? Popping them in. I'm gonna do four because that's all I have and there's no better use for this ramen than what I'm doing right now. Also, I was inspired by watching Matt Stoney absolutely house a village's worth of this dish today. Ooh, they're getting soft real quick. Yeah, these are gonna be ready pretty soon. These don't take long at all. I'm gonna try a little piece. I'm glad I tried it. It's very firm, not ready to eat at all yet. Don't be fooled by the look. You have to taste test it. All right, well, it looks like our noodles are like the perfect consistency. So let's take them out of the water and they will sit aside.
Can you hear me the big bowl? No. Me now. Me now. <laughs> no me. Oh damn it, it's tracking Jenna now. Look oh. out, bitch. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, okay. How fast can you go? Oh, Kermit! I ran away and I stepped on Kermit. Good. Our noodles are ready. Our girlfriend has arrived. She is looking over our shoulder, just in awe at our greatness at what we have created so far, which is literally just boiling noodles. So we're gonna start by busting out. Let's do the goju jang first. This is the hot Korean pepper paste. We have our noodles, it is sauce time. So we're gonna do three, I'm gonna say tablespoons of this. It just says spoons. So I'm gonna say tablespoons, cause I always go bigger. Go big or go home, I always go big, and then I go home afterwards, I'm done going big. Because where do you go when you're done being big? You go home. Okay, gochujang is done. Next, Yum. we're gonna bust out the red hot pepper powder, which you're gonna need also three tablespoons of. I'm just going tablespoons. It says spoons, I'm going tablespoons. Two, it's a lot of spoons, okay. That looks like this is what we're cooking here, everybody. This is just straight up fire. That's cooking? We're gonna do soy sauce now, two to three spoons to... Can you get your face out of it? I'm just curious. Don't try to steal the camera from me. Jenna, don't take the camera while I'm gone. I'm going to get something. Stay, camera. Stay. No, camera, come back to me. All right, it says you can add seaweed to taste, and I think it'd be kind of cool and authentic for us to try that. So we're gonna take a sheet of nori. We're gonna break off like a third of it. We're gonna use our mortar and pestle, which was previously used for fingernails. I don't know what you're talking about. A few sesame seeds. Okay, I don't actually know how I'm supposed to do this. Like, how am I supposed to make this a fine powder? Was it trying to tell me to use seaweed powder? I don't know. We're gonna do some garlic now. I love that it just says spoons. It's so confusing. We're gonna do a teaspoon of cornstarch. I feel like half of these ingredients, it was tablespoons, and the other half was teaspoons. It's coming out very pasty, so I'm feeling like I still need more soy sauce. Well, here goes nothing, I suppose. We're gonna add the hot Korean noodle sauce to our noodles. Start with a little bit. This is actually, if you can get your hands on the paste and the powder, like this is a really easy recipe to make, as you can see, because I wouldn't say I'm challenging myself this week, but I will be challenging myself when I put this in my mouth. That is what she said. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm not even gonna eat, I'm finishing on that one, peace. No, stop following me. No more cameras. Now we're gonna eat. This is turned from Aries Kitchen into Aries Kitchen and Dinner and Mukbang. <sighs> okay, okay. Yep, I can handle it. <clears throat> I can handle it. I can do it. I can do it. It's really hot. <sighs> I really wish it told me the difference between tablespoons and teaspoons. I feel like it shouldn't be this hot. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yep. Oh, I can see clearer. Wait, I just got bad vision. Well, these are very hot. So a couple of episodes I'm thinking about doing in the future are an appetizers. I'm just trying to talk. I'm just trying to talk, distract myself through this. I wanna do an episode of appetizers because I wanna make my own potato skins. And I also wanna try making like a blooming onion or whatever it's called, where they like batter the onion and then it opens up and then they fry it. That's what I wanna try. Oh man, I'm gonna go sit in this corner. This corner is a little cooler. It's a little cooler over here. These are very spicy noodles. Hopefully if you've made this dish at home, which I'm sure many of you have, I did it okay. And I didn't disgrace the recipe. But I feel like the spice is like not going away at all. It's weird, because all I'm doing is taking more bites of it and the spice isn't going away. I also feel like if the noodles were a little better, because these are kind of skinny and sad noodles, that this would feel like a better dish. <clears throat> more well-rounded texture-wise. Oh my God. <clears throat> well, I just wanted to, uh, <clears throat> 
I wanted to mix things up a little bit and I wanted to try these really bad. And I know it's not the most comprehensive recipe, but to be fair, it is a very easy one at that. And you can make it with just a couple of ingredients. I got these at my local Asian grocery store. You can get them off Amazon, I think. Uh, the paste and the powder. The rest of the stuff that goes in it is very easy to find. And um, you could probably add some stuff to this to make it more nutritional, because this is just noodles and death. I could do like some tofu or veggies or something like that. Oh, I'm like trying to, trying to close the video. I don't know. I'm getting embarrassed right now by this food. I should go by the sauce. Shouldn't have done that. These are very spicy and they look very spicy. Moral of the story is if the food is bright red, probably spicy unless it's like an apple, but you never know. I mean, an apple could be spicy. Oh, <clears throat> anyway, thank you guys for watching my very basic video of me making Korean hot noodles and eating them or trying to. I will leave the recipe I found in the description if you wanted to try this and I'll be back next time with another episode. If you have any ideas for me for recipes and foods to try, maybe for the first time, because I enjoy doing that like I did today, leave them in the comments. I'd love to see your uh, suggestions. <clears throat> I need to stop doing this now. Thank you for watching. Do you guys want the, re do you want the leftovers? Do you want the rest? Does anyone want these? You want these? You want to take a bite? All right, everyone, open up wide. Open up wide. Here we go. And now we're all in pain. <laughs>